Hey you guys, welcome back, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about coffee. I went to the store and I bought coffee. But one thing I did notice, I noticed a difference. Okay, this is my favorite brand, Duncan. And this is the Kroger. Okay, the breakfast blend. Okay, Kroger size used to be a little bit bigger. Like 12 ounces. And you look at the bottom. 11 ounces. This still the same. But I would not be surprised. This is some of the coffee that's probably been on the shelf for a while. And probably once I get a new bag of Dunkin', it's probably smaller as well. Okay? So when you go to them grocery stores and you're a coffee lover, make sure you're getting a bang for your buck. Because they... Shrinkflation. Here it is, but you're getting less. Okay? So this was on sale for $4.99 and this was on sale for $5.99 and you can see even though it's a dollar difference um, you get a little bit more in this so just be mindful for you not to waste your money and if you are a coffee lover okay always look at the ounces and see okay still the same bag okay you're not thinking but make sure you look okay because hey what's going on now Everything going up, and the size is going down. And then as well as our money is staying the same. So you're not really getting ahead. You're not really even seeing anything, and that suck. So, I'm out of coffee. See my beautiful coffee? You like that, guys? You like that? See how beautiful this is? This needs to be clean. Yes, it do. My little spoon. See how beautiful this is? And what I do, I get my soapy rag and I wipe around. And I got this guys at a thrift store maybe two years ago. I think I paid a dollar and fifty cent. A dollar and fifty cent. And I said, hey, that's good instead of trying to get the coffee out the bag and stuff. So I needed this. And it had all the compartments. It had the spoon that goes with it. Everything. It was all taped together. So. Don't sleep on them from thrift store. Because you can find a lot of little nice bargains. Sometimes you got to look, dig, and pry, and do everything. But you can find some nice bargains. So I often clean it up. So, if you're not a coffee drinker, you can just use it for tea. You can put your sugar in it. Hey, you want flour? You can put anything. But yeah, I found this at a thrift store for a dollar and fifty, so I couldn't beat that because I know it's well quality made and I know it's expensive. So what I do, I put my coffee in here. So what I'm going to do, since this expires September thirteenth, twenty twenty-five. And this expires on February 5th, 2025. So, I'm going to use this one because it expires soon. Let me see. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. Let me so. When you match it down, look at that. That's what you get. Let me see. Uh-oh. -uh. Mash it down. See? You can tell which one you get more in. Well, I'm going to use this one. So, I'm going to go with this one. Yeah. I got me some um, water. I got to watch it over here. Boiling. I'm gonna do oh, this. That'd be hard to open. Okay. There we go. There we go. So I'm gonna make like a, and I'm gonna pour it in here, cause it is no, it was nothing in here. It was empty. And 
got to make sure you are coming in with the bags like this. You're down for it to stick. Okay, because they have the little, little tape on it. So now my coffee mug is full. I can't tilt it too far. See? And I put my lid on here. Then I got my coffee bar set up in the back. So, on that note, make sure you look at the sizes, guys, when you get coffee. And make sure you do not waste your money with anything. Whatever you like. If it's sugar, if it's pasta sauce, make sure you look at the sizes and you get the bang for your butt. Because everything is going down. Far what you get and the prices is shooting up and your money staying flat so on that note thanks for watching